Hello guys, in this video, I'll try to cover as much as I can in three minutes about AWS Glow. Hey, what is AWS? It's a fully managed serverless ETL. So it, it automates data discovery and schema inference using uh, crawlers. And the second thing is uh, job scheduling using workflows. What are the core components of AWS Glow? The first thing is data catalog. So inside the data catalog, it stores the metadata information about the data from different sources. The sources can be the data in S3 or MySQL DB or MongoDB or many other sources it supports. Once we have the metadata information inside the data catalog, we can use it to query that specific source data from Athena, EMR and Redshift. And the second component in AWS Glue is crawlers. Crawlers is kind of a program which uses the classifiers. Like the classifiers can be the default type classifiers are like JSON, CSV, Parquet, Avron. Most of the file formats are supported. And using these classifiers, it crawls the data and fetches the metadata information and stores that in the inside the data catalog. So the crawlers and data catalogs are interlinked. And the second thing is ETL jobs. So these ETL jobs are serverless. Using these ETL jobs, we can uh, do the ETL stuff using code as well as using drag and drop also. Uh, Glue supports both. And we can transform the data serverless without maintaining the cluster by us. And finally, the other components in Glue which we can talk about is like triggers and workflows. So using these triggers, we can trigger the Glue jobs or the crawlers and create the workflows. Like first the crawler has to run, then the ETL job has to run. These kind of workflows can also be created using this trigger and workflows so why is glue so special one is serverless and scalable automatical and the second thing is using crawler automated schema discovery like fetching the metadata information using the crawlers and storing that information in the table and also it's pay as you go model only when your job runs will be charged i can say three three very important optimization techniques in glue one is using the right size dpus dpus are nothing but worker nodes in the spark world terminology and the second thing is bookmarking so once you enable bookmarking i'll with this command and if your ETL job uh, has failed in between while processing the data, it will not process the data which is already processed because it checkpoints using this file path, row offset and all this, it checkpoints the data which is already processed. So when you rerun, it processed from where it has failed. And third thing is predicate pushdown. So while reading the data uh, from S3 or any data source, if, by, if you use this particular command, you can uh, filter out the data uh, while reading itself and read only the data which is required. So this is called predicate pushdown. These are the three optimization techniques which we can apply in every glue job. Ideal approach which I have used to trigger a glue job is whenever the file arrives, my lambda gets triggered and the lambda will trigger the glue job using the Boto3 model. Boto3 dot run glue job. So if our glue job has failed, we used to get a notification in the email saying the glue job has failed using the SNS topic. So using the SNS topics, we can alert whenever the glue job has failed or succeeded. So these are the things which I can recall immediately when I think of glue.